beach not far away. I went to visit for a day. Got covered with some gooey ooze that changed my DNA. Now I try to act normal, keep my cool. My other kids play after school. I turn into a prehistoric hero. Today on Dino Squad, while the team is busy chilling and spilling, Romp gets lost and discovers that the world can be a scary place for a mutant dino dog. Experiment 108-B7. I'm attempting to augment the regenerative abilities of starfish with a new prototype of primordial ooze. Unfortunately, the starfish seem completely unresponsive. What's this? A type of sea slug. Onchidorus bilamalata is having a tremendous reaction. It is a disgusting-looking little creature, but not half as disgusting and ugly as humans. Pathetic monkeys swarming all over this lovely planet. Perhaps with the help of this little sea slug and his friends, I will be one step closer to putting an end to the humans' misuse of Earth and bring back the dinosaur. All thanks to you, you ugly little beast. That's right, you. You are one ugly little doggy, huh, Rumpy Rump? The king of all ugly, hands down. Dog or dino. Yes, you are, huh, Rump? Ugly and useless. When are you going to actually do something useful, like, like make me an omelet? Or at least clean up the kitchen, take out the trash? <laughs> Or help reprogram the satellite tracking system. Just because he doesn't have opposable thumbs doesn't mean he's useless. <laughs> Maybe not completely useless, but you can't deny that he is ugly. Roger, you should be way above connecting how something looks with what it's got on the inside. Remember the old saying that you can't judge a book by its cover? Okay, I hear you. But remind me again why Rump is so useful. Because Rump, um, Rump makes me happy. Ah! My poor, beautiful cupcake! Devoured! You, you worthless beast! Rump ate my cupcake! That was my afternoon snack, and he ate it! Rump, I thought I trained you better than that. What is it lawyers are always saying on TV? I rest my case. Come on, Rump. You better hang out with me today. <laughs> Not right now, Rump. I'm working here. Cut it out, Rump. Hey, Rump, I mean it. Ow! Rump, go away! Leave me alone! <laughs> Worthless dog. I can't believe I called poor Rump worthless. Uh-oh. He's lost his collar. He can't be outside without his collar. Rump! Rumpy Rump! Come on, boy! Where are you? Rump! I've got your tree jar! Rump! Go Dino! He was here, but he's run off. He must be pretty far away by now. 
poor guy. Wonder where he's gone. I've seen it again. That horrible monster dog. It's big and it's ugly, and it's the one that absolutely almost ruined my business the last time I saw him. Everybody thought I was crazy, but I'm not crazy. I'm not. I'm not crazy. The monster dog is back. He's back, and you have to help. You have to help me. Uh, try to stay calm, sir. Uh, this monster dog, you say it's the same one that was rumored to have gone through town a few months back? It is. The very same one. I just saw don't worry, sir. Animal control agent Wallace P. Gutmeyer is on the case. Today is the day. I can feel it in my well-laced boots. Today's the day animal control agent Wallace P. Gutmeyer, which is me, is going to catch the monster dog. Rump! Rump, where are you? Guys, Rump's run away. Again? Good riddance to that cupcake-stealing chowhound, if you ask me. Cut him some slack, Caruso. Yeah, poor Rump. I doubt if he'll find anyone out there in the big bad world that loves him as much as Fiona does. It's all my fault. I lost my cool and yelled at him, and now he's run off because of me. Don't worry, Fee. We'll find Rump. Right, guys? You bet. I guess. Sure. Huh? We got a big signal of mutant sores up the coast. It's growing. Look, I understand how you feel, but we can't allow a mutant sword situation to go unchecked. I know. I'm just worried about poor Rumpy Rump, that's all. Don't sweat it, Fiona. Rump will be fine. He can take care of himself. What could possibly go wrong? Tell me you didn't just say that with a straight face. Where have you been, Buzz? On the moon? It's rum! Wallace P. Gutmeyer is going to capture that monster dog if it's the last thing he, I mean, I, do. That monster dog doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> that this monster dog was here. The camera stays on me. You'll just say yes. Yes. Good. Never fear, sir. Animal control agent Wallace P. Gutmeyer will catch this monster dog, making the streets safe once again. To that end, I've been busily picking up every dog I've seen out today, just in case. <laughs> you can never be too careful. The monster dog could be hiding anywhere. The more dogs I take off the street, the easier it will be to find him. That's the beauty of my genius. <laughs> So I said, like, trash is not my job, okay? And he so said that it was. Yeah, so unfair. That's what I said. Wait a minute. That's not right. There's something in the dumpster. I don't know what it is. Just look at it. Here, check it out. See? Told ya. I'm not delirious. It's really ugly and scary. Good idea. 
check it in the dumpster. <laughs> Ugly and useless. Worthless beast! Horrible dog! Totally ugly! And up to no good! I'm starting the containment procedure now. Be prepared to take the mutant saws back to the ship on my signal. Ready and waiting, Dr. Velocity. Have fun, guys. The specimens are contained. Now hurry. I want them taken back to the laboratory for vivisection as quickly as possible. There's another sub down here. Surprise! Gotcha! Ew! Gross! Velocity's mutated some kind of sea slug. Cool! I am so gonna take one home as a pet. We have to rescue them first, Buzz. Better catch some air. Go Dino! believe there is any need for cruelty to animals here, sir. Besides, how would you like to be threatened with a stick? Um, I just remembered I got an appointment to get a haircut. Uh, bye now. Okay, little fella. You're all good now. Someone wants to follow me. What is it, little fella? <coughs> All right, come on. Let's get you something to eat. Get out here and help get this submarine off of me. taking care of this submarine myself. That can't be good. Sorry, Vic, but I don't have time to play games. I saw you bring that stray dog in here. You know as well as I do that this apartment building has a strict no pets policy. <sighs> Jarvis, really? It's a policy I firmly believe in. Pets, nothing but trouble. Worthless, all of them. And this one is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. He's got to be extra worthless. I want you to know I've already called animal control. Oh, darn. I locked myself out again. And I left my soup on the stove. Darn it! Darn it! I'm hungry. Poor Jarvis has some serious issues. Don't listen to that man. I know exactly how you must feel, you poor puppy dog. 
everybody making assumptions about you just because of how you look or how you're made. The fact that I'm different, my blindness, leads others to make all sorts of incorrect assumptions about what I can do, what I feel, my hopes and dreams. Don't worry, little guy. I understand you. Really, Jarvis? No, ma'am. Animal Control Agent Wallace P. Gutmeyer. I received a call about a stray dog. Just look at those little slugosaurs. They are so wicked cute. Did I hear someone order a deusing? It's time to chill and spill. Now can we go find Rump? In you go. Like I told that poor lady with those funny glasses, no proof of dog ownership equals worthless stray. Where'd it go? Had to borrow the manager's keys. Mr. Jarvis, I, I really need to talk with you. I wasn't intending to break the no pets policy. It's just until I can find his owners. It was unacceptable that... Wait, do you smell something? That's funny. The doorknob's hot. Don't open that door! <laughs> Here. Help! Somebody help! Fire! Fire! Is this the right way? No, this way, I think. Hi, fella. Is that you? Hey, what's going on? Okay, boy. I got it. Let's go. I don't remember you having all these spikes on your tail. You obviously need a good brush. <laughs> That's right, boy. Good job, boy. Thank you, boy. Sir, hasn't anyone ever taught you anything about fire safety? You had a pot cooking on the stove and you left it unattended. You never do that. Plus, your kitchen was a mess. Greasy towels everywhere. It was a fire just waiting to happen. You should have had smoke detectors in every room. I'm gonna have to talk to your landlord about that. I gotta say, you're lucky you had such a good neighbor and a great dog around. They saved your life. Rump! Rump! I'm so glad we found you! I'm so glad you found him, too. I was hoping he had a home and people that cared about him. He deserves it. That he does! That he does! I, Animal Control Agent Gutmeyer, have seen the monster dog. I had it! And I will find it again! You can count on that! Gutmeyer! Yes, sir? You've got a truck full of dogs with collars and tags. All these dogs have homes. And I want you to personally take each and every one of these dogs to the rightful owners and apologize for grabbing them up off the streets. Yes, sir. And when you get back to the office, you and I need to have a little chat. Well, Rump, you certainly proved your point to me. 
That's for certain. Looks don't matter. Hello? Crazy talk? No, it's not, Caruso. Roger's trying to say that it's what's on the inside that counts. Oh, I get it. What you're trying to tell me is that while Rump may be ugly as all get out on the surface, he's one heck of a dog on the inside. The absolute best. <laughs> what a cute puppy dog. May I pet him? Of course. Oh, isn't he the most beautiful, snuggly little doggy ever? I just love this dog. You <laughs> 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 don't have to be a Dino Squad hero to help save the Earth. Be cool. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Change my DNA.